right, guys. How's everybody doing today? Let me know in the comments. I uh, moved that car over and got the hood up here. This is the 66 Chevelle hood that we are taking the grills and the center rib and mounting it in the center of a 63 Biscayne hood. No, we're not using this hood. That's a uh, aftermarket. We are going to use this hood. If everything works out good. I'm, I gotta do some cleanup on it. Got some bubbling. Gotta make sure it's not totally ate out. But that's an original hood. We would rather use it over and above using an aftermarket because as you can see those curves are never right and this one was a damaged one it's got a little bit of a buckle right on that seam so if we can get away with it we'll use the original now <clears throat> i'm gonna do things just a little bit differently and i'm gonna see how the analytics change i'm gonna judge it if it don't change much, then I'm gonna go back to my normal way of videoing. But I'm gonna show in detail everything I do. I'm gonna try not to have any music playing. Uh, I'm gonna try, try to talk to the camera and let you guys know what I'm doing, why I'm doing it and you'll see how i'm doing it so all right so what we're going to do is we're going to clean this up first get it down to bare metal where i plan to cut it all right then i'm going to take and i'm going to cut along here Across, I'm going to have to do a little bit of work right there where that factory rib and this hood is. But I'm going to come up here and I'm going to stop about right here. And I'm going to go at an angle in front of the center rib. And then we're going to take this and set it on this hood to see how it looks first. And go from there. All right, so let's get grinding. Oh yeah, guys, before we go much farther, why don't you hit pause and go over there and hit that thumbs up button for me. Show me some love, guys. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button too. All right. The first part, grind it up.
Okay, I didn't know it until I started grinding. There is a rib that comes down right there, but it's smooshed. There is a rib right there to line up with this rib. There is a slight rib in the top. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there is just an ever so slight rib right in the center. That will help me line this up. Okay, right here is the edge of the scoop. I'm gonna take my three quarter inch tape here and I'm gonna go right along the edge of that. That way when I cut, I'm three quarters of an inch off of that edge. Now back here, it's gonna be a little bit different because I don't have three quarters of an inch behind the center rib. I'm gonna take outside edge right there at the flat, and then I'm gonna bring it over to where it's three quarters of an inch off. Just like so. Then I'll come over to this side and do the same deal. That tape's kind of curved. Okay, that'll work. Now basically up here, I'm gonna do the same thing. Right to the point, right there. Get it stuck down good. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna eyeball it and lay it down like that. Come over to the other side. And do the same thing. Come up here, eyeball it. Just like that. Now, I'm going to take my razor blade here and I'm going to trim the edge. like that and get rid of the excess. Come up here, from the edge. Come on now. All right. Now that is the piece I'm cutting out. It'll be nice and even all the way around. 
I'm not sure about the roll here. I might have to do some work on getting that flattened out to match that hood. But I won't know that until I lay it up on top of it. Now, I'm going to take a cutoff wheel. I'll just show you here. Hey, get me a cutoff wheel. And this is what I use right here. You have to be careful what cutoff wheels you use. A lot of these will not handle the speeds of a regular grinder. If you're using a Bosch or a uh, Princess Auto or a um, Harbor Freight, something like that, they probably won't have the durability or the speed of a name brand grinder. You want something that's going to hold up to high speed because they will explode and they will do some damage. All right, now you can see the edge of that. It's about 330. It's about 30. I'm going to take the edge of this and I'm going to cut just outside the tape. The edge of the cutoff wheel will be at the edge of the tape. I'll go all the way around this hood like that. All right, now pay attention to where my disc is.
another tip is you never want to lay a grinder down like that. You seen this thing stay on earlier because of that button. You let it down and it hits something, say the rib in a body. You just lay it down on that and it flips that. If you're down like that and it triggers that button, what's it gonna do? It's gonna take off. That's the best way you can do it. Well, let's lay it up here and see what it looks like. Honestly, I think the curve is about perfect. Look at that. The only thing is this back section here goes back beyond the hood. I can take care of that though. I'll just start here to there and I'll cut that off. And then I'll put the radius back in here up on the hood. I don't know, I think it'll look good. I just want to show you where that cuts at.
All right, now that it's all deburred and ready to go, I'm gonna take this body rib out of it. Well, like I said, guys, I'm gonna take this rib out of here. I've had a few people in here, so it's been a minute since I've been over here. I set the other hood up. I'm gonna take that out of there. The, the top part, which right here, is kind of a tight bend, but the bottom part's just the radius, so I'm gonna take it slow, see how it goes, see which tools I end up using, but I'm gonna start with both my body hammers. This one here is really flat. This one I've had for, I don't know, 40 years, 45 years. I'm gonna just start working it. That's noisy.
Much better. Beautiful. Alright. Time for this side. See?
All right, I'll finish with the uh, hammer and dolly after I get it together. It needs a little bit right in here, but I don't want to distort this area either. Okay, to find the center, it's really, with it shiny, you can see it real good. When you grind it, sometimes you can't see it. So what I did was I went up on this side with the disc going this way. This side I went down with the disc going this way. That highlighted that point right there. Now, when I slide this up, I line the center of that with that point, and you know it'll be in the center. Still a little hard to see, but I'm gonna put a mark. There's the center of the hood, right? There's the center of the scoop. All right, now we'll go to the back. I'll just line it up on the center of this rib over here. Measure to that one. I got 40 and an eighth, so 20 and a 16th is the center. centered up I'm just gonna take a tech screw make sure it don't go nowhere sure the back is. Dang it! Get back here. That screw does not want to stay. That's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to take and grind around it and then scribe it. Accurate. 
after I changed the diff. this up really quick. Instead of scribing it, I'm going to use tape just like I did the first time. Now I can get that pulled back off. Now 
do like I did the other side. Only the disc will be on the opposite side of the tape. Fingers ain't working right, guys. Yeah, better get my gloves on. Just so everybody knows, gold rings attract the weld BBs. I've got them stuck all around my wedding ring. And you know, gold don't cool off very quick, so it burns.
I'm getting a good score on it because this hood is moving all over the place. You gotta keep an eye on your panel and watch where it moves. what you want.
groovy. That's absolutely wonderful. <sighs> awesome. All right, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it for the day. Make sure you come back tomorrow and we'll get it all welded up. We've got some stuff I want to get done to it before we weld it up. Like, you know clean all this up get it undercoated clean this back side of this up all that stuff that way we know it's secure uh the original bracing in here had uh for the cheville hood had tabs welded onto these braces they were still underneath of it like that so i'm gonna leave these in there i'm gonna put tabs to hold these where they need to be drill your holes down into here and your scoops will still be able to bolt on just like normal but as for me today i'm out of here i'm gonna go get some ice cream Till tomorrow, have a blessed evening. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button for me. I'd appreciate it. It sure helps the channel out. All the comments, likes, uh, subscriptions, it all helps the channel grow. I would love to be able to do this style of video daily and help people learn how to do what I do. I'm not saying I'm always right. But y'all see it as I do it. All right, guys. Till tomorrow, have a blessed evening. <laughs>